Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Jack and Daxter. And this part, we're gonna head over to the Precursor City, whatever. But right now, I'm trying to get you a decent image of the Rock Village because we haven't really seen the village, probably just that little area. See, most of the village is situated up there. That's pretty. It's pretty interesting. Actually. So let's go ahead and collect these Precursor orbs and head on over to the city. So that's pretty much everything and let's go with that rolling jump. Let's go in here and look a little elevator pad type thing. So then we go deep underwater into the old precursor city or lost precursor city for its proper name and there's only one way we can go in here. As you can see. Yeah, the only way you can go, and don't touch those hot coils. There we go. And don't jump in that green, glowy water. It's not friendly. Anyway, so here we're in the first major room. See, we got precursor orbs over there, floating platforms, all kind of crap. So first, we're gonna head down here and grab everything over here. So come down, the boxes again. Don't want to touch those hot coils. platform and do a little diving smack. I really don't know what I mean. Water switches from blue to glowing green crap switch. And crap. And good example. Why do you want to jump in there? Well, anyway, we've got all those precursor orb. And so now we're going to head back over here again because there's some more stuff we can get further along this path. So let's grab all these precursor orbs and time to spare. So you got another button over here, so don't worry about trying to make it back through the water. But look over here, we got a scout fly trap. And a new enemy. This is like one lurker standing on top of another, so first you gotta hit the dude on top off and then you can kill both of them. So really three hits kills that dude in total. So let's head back over these platforms and get back up onto that. Oh, die. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. Oh, well, that actually kind of helps me because I got everything in that area. Oh, look, it dropped me back off of the stupid elevator pad, but you know, it's right there, so whatever. So yeah, showing off the hitbox that the rolling jump has. I didn't even realize the rolling jump has a hitbox until doing this playthrough when I killed that sand dragon like several parts ago. But anyway, so now we want to head over here because we got a platform moving back and forth under these hot coils. So just take it on, grab all the platforms on here, and some more up in that round platform with uh, another enemy. This dude puffs himself up like a puffer fish, so run away until he goes back to normal and then kill him. Woohoo! So hard, not really. So let's head back over here and that's basically everything in this room, so just take this platform up to this little area and we can head on into the next area in this city. This this area is really linear, so it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out where to go. I think there's one point where it branches off. But actually, no, maybe not. Oh, I don't know what I thought I was going to do there. Let's kill this jerk. Wow, I'm failing all over already. Isn't that so nice? Anyways, yeah, jump on this. And see these platforms are, like, I don't know, magnetically connected, so when you stand on one, the other one spins, so you can use that to move towards crap, and you can't really reach the, the, first, I mean, the platforms, can't we can still grab it now, we can so just wait, and let it go all the way back around, now we can grab these two, and go on, jump over here, and not die on these coils. 
Yeah, some city it looks more like a death trap, huh? But I guess that's how things go. So there we go, I'm on that spinning magnetic platform thing, so let's take it over here to where that Fuiko is. And that'll help us get our next scout fly and no. There's some precursor orbs in one of those Fuiko pad things that we have to get. So let's grab all this crap. Fuiko is more down here, so let's get that. Let's jump over here. And then, um, up here, because this thing will launch back up. And we can grab all these, and ow! Oh, I swear I pushed circle in time, but I guess not, and it drops us back off here. Ooh, I'm a damager. But oh, I don't need that. I don't need a platform because I'm not good. I'm gonna have to go back and get the blue eco to open that thing again just to get those two precursors that we died before grabbing. So, gotta head all the way back over here, grab that crap again. So, yeah, let's do that. And I'm gonna have a little impatience. So jump back too soon, otherwise. Yeah, that would be bad. I hope we have enough. I would have been willing to try to do that again and keep it in the But now he's dead, so he's gone. No more eternity. Unless I die and come back, obviously. I'll figure that out in five seconds. So let's grab these pictures over here and that's basically everything you can get down here. The rest will all involve that moving set of platforms. It's like, uh, yeah. We do have these. So let's grab these last few pictures. And that platform on the other side of this. I don't know if you saw it or not. But that's where we head once we finish up this place. So now, we've got to use the moving platforms to get a power cell and two more scout flies, so let's get two. See those three, like, cylindrical, whatever the heck, I don't really know how to refer to them because I always have brain farts when it comes to these kind of things, so let's head over here, and as you can see, well, maybe you can see. I don't know how good this um, capture device picks up the ground. But, you can see there's a pie in the blue one, so it's this one, the closest. Drops the scout fly, yeah, the scout fly is right there. So let's just take this platform over, and uh, I thought I could make that jump, and I couldn't, and. That means we're just gonna be wasting more time going through all this. So, right back over here. Really, game? Did I fail? I didn't realize. That little musical part plays a little messy. The game likes to remind you how bad you fail. So let's take this platform back over again because I just decided to suck really bad at this. Anyway, blah blah blah. Yeah, I guess I, I mentioned I'm actually kind of doing this on the 4th of July, so isn't that nice? Yeah, and later today I'm just gonna go off and. Set off a bunch of fireworks for my friends, and actually kind of a big deal because here in Arizona, where I live, fireworks were illegal for a long freaking time until about last winter, so first 4th of July here in Arizona with fireworks, so let me set up this platform for the next scout fly, so I don't have to borrow the 
table jump. There's there, dropped off. And let's grab the second one. And also, we just got the picture there, so yeah, we did it. And. Word, I might not be able to jump back to the platform. Scout fly first, and then we'll head back and uh, release the power cell. We actually don't need the sitting platform for this one. Instead, you'll be using the platforms that stick out at separate intervals, timed intervals, blah blah blah. I really can't talk right now. So, anyways, just head through here. Wait for this one to come up. This one. And this platform. Jump up here. Jump. And, oh, that one's pushing me. Barely jumped in time. But we got another power cell. Woohoo. Wow, this is so hard. Not really. But, anyways, that's everything in this room. So, guess what? We're heading off to the next room. And I. If I roll. Yeah, that was... I made that with room of spare. Look, another power cell already. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's get these short. Then we'll grab the power cell. As you notice, the platforms like to flip and drop in. So, I wouldn't be standing on one once it starts to shake, because uh, you will fall into the dark ego and die. So let's wait for that platform to right itself. And we'll head on to this next room. Come on. We got lurkers in the spinning things. Don't bother punching them from the side. That's how you do it. I understand. You can do it when they're spinning too, but they usually move out of the way in time. So just keep that in mind. As you know, we still like get dizzy and stuff, so we wanna head down here first. I think this is the area. It actually branches off, but uh, yeah, this one only leads to one power cell, and that's pretty much dead end after that, so we'll go down here first. Yeah, and I killed myself again. Isn't that awesome? I'm really not doing too well. Uh, I usually only kill myself once a video. Actually, I don't think I died once in the Patricia Basin, so maybe I'm just trying to even things out now by dying a lot. Yeah, let's not hit the hot coils. And look, one of those jerky puffer things, so I'll take care of him first so I don't have to deal with him on this. And hurry up. Come on, yes. Okay. Basically, with these platforms, watch, I'll show you when you jump on one, it turns all glowy, so you want to light up all of them, but if you jump on one again, it goes all unglowy. I can't think of a better word for it, so just gotta pick a path that likes all of them. And if you copy mine, there's other ways. It's not that difficult of a puzzle, really, so don't worry too much. And look at that, already another power, so this is just too easy. Woohoo! So. Let's head back out to that one fork room. With a fork in it, yeah, whatever. Really. Can we stop falling in? Can I stop hurting myself? Yeah, let's go with that. I think I'll wait because I'll probably jump right into it when it's green if I don't. And let's go. Not many whirlpools, I mean, they won't kill you, just slow you down, kind of 